Привет-привет! Сегодня мы продолжаем работать с уроком 9. Today we continue to work with lesson 9. The first part was here, and we saw with you the words это, этот, эти, это. We saw the verb гулять. And what about today? Today we will speak about the pronunciation. Why in this word я is not я, but и. В сентябре. Ты знаешь? We will see plurals. Стол, столы, компьютер, компьютеры, друг, друзья. Почему? And we will see new vocabulary. Я играю в гольф. Я играю на гитаре. Я играю на фортепиано. Я играю в баскетбол. Are you ready? Let's go! Поехали! In our dialect we have some words with the letter я. Can you find them? Right. Гуляю. Друзья. Время. Let's have a look at how we pronounce this letter. Друзья. Время. Я. Well, actually, in Russian there are different kinds of я. Some examples. So we have here яблоко. Гулять. Язык. В сентябре. Pay attention to how I pronounce these words. Яблоко, гулять, язык в сентябре. Can you hear that я is different in these words? And particularly in the last one, в сентябре. So in the word яблоко, I pronounce it strong, я. To pronounce it like this, you have to say first the sound и, и, and then а, я. Yeah. It's like the beginning of the English word yummy. Yeah. Now, in the word гулять, it's a little bit different because there is no this y. Yeah. Mm? We just pronounce soft l and then a. L, l, a. To learn how to pronounce soft l, start with the normal l. So, say in English l, l. Your tongue should be like this now. L, l. And now try raising the tongue a little bit. So the front part of the tongue from this position goes to uh, this position. So it kind of gets closer to your heart palate. Please, when you pronounce le, remember to keep your back of the tongue, the very root of the tongue, lowered. So the front and middle part goes up, the root is lowered. L, 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 l. And now we're gonna say l and then immediately a. L, l, l. Гулять. In the third word, язык. We're gonna say y and then i. Y. Язык. Язык. The beginning sounds a little bit similar to the English word yield. Ye, yield, yizik. And in the last word, в сентябре, we actually pronounce it as an e. В сентябре. Now, what does it depend on? Of course, on the position of the letter in the word. We have the two strong variants, яблоко and гулять, when the letter я is accented, is stressed. We have the weak versions when the letter я is unstressed, yizik. So here it's at the beginning of the word, so we're going to add this little y, y, uh, yizik. And when the ya is unstressed and it's in the middle of the word, it's going to be pronounced just as an e, сентябре. Let's see some more examples. Яблоко, друзья, семья, гулять, время. Пять. Язык. Ягуар. Япония. В сентябре. В октябре. Now try to repeat these words with me. Яблоко. Друзья. Семья. Гулять. Время. Пять. Язык. Ягуар. 
Япония. В сентябре. В октябре. Don't want to lose anything? Consider joining the channel and supporting it. And now grammar, грамматика. In our dialect we have some irregular plurals. So you know that usually the plurals are formed with the help of the letters ы and и. And then а and я for neutral forms. But here something strange is happening. Can you find some strange plurals here? Right. Garada finishes with a. Друзья with ya. Люди people. Direktora directors, дети, children. In Russian, just like in English, we do have some irregular plurals. Well, don't get angry. Think of your mouse but mice or food but feed. The same in Russian. There are some words that you have you know, to remember. And if you read a lot in Russian, if you speak, if you practice and listen, it's going to be easier to remember them. Now, let's have a look. Garada, дома, друзья, люди, директора, дети. Well, you see that the word город, city, in plural adds an a. Город, города. Well, can you find other words like this in this list? Right. Garada, дома, директора. Well, some words add a in plural. Garada, дома. Паспорта, острова, лиса, поезда. And also, many words of professions follow the same rule. Доктора, профессора. Директора, учителя. When I was studying at the university, I had to remember English exceptions. When the lists were long, what I used to do is to create a story in which all of these words were used. And thus, I noticed it was easier to remember lists of words and exceptions. For example, well, with these words, you can imagine the following. Look, you go to the train station and you can see there the trains. Поезда. On the platform there are some people. There are professors, профессора, managers, директора, teachers, учителя, doctors, доктора. Well, before getting on a train you have to show your passport because maybe you go abroad by train. So, паспорта. So, you sit by the window and you look outside and you can see some woods. Лиса. You can see some cities and houses. Garada, Dama. At some point you come at your destination, uh, which is by the sea, and in some distance you see some islands. Astrava. Now have a look at the word друзья. This is plural. And what was it in singular? Друг. Друг. Friend. Друзья. Friends. So something very strange happens here. We add an ya and a soft sign. Друг, друзья. We also change the consonant. There are some words like this. Have a look. Брат, братья. Стул, стулья. Дерево, деревья. And some words in the list are complete exceptions. They completely change the root of the word. Well, they are actually different words. Have a look. Человек – люди. Ребенок – дети. Yeah, very good. Let's have a look at the vocabulary in this dialogue. So here we have играем в гольф. We play golf. So играть is the verb that we're going to use with sport games and with musical instruments. How do we conjugate it? Играть. Is it the verb of the first type of the conjugation or the second? Right, the first. To conjugate it, we're gonna delete t, we don't need it. Remember, in the first conjugation, we need to preserve the vowel before t, so we need this a. And now we add our endings. Я играю. Ты играешь. 
Он играет. Мы играем. Вы играете. Они играют. Right. Now let's see how we use it with sports and with musical instruments. Играть в гольф, but играть на гитаре. So when we speak about sports, we're going to use the preposition в in Russian. I play in golf in Russian. No, but with instruments, we're going to use на, which means on. I play on guitar in Russian. Играть на гитаре. Let's have a look at more examples. Играть в теннис. Играть на пианино. Now I'm going to show you the picture. Um, and I will give you the name of the sports or the instrument. And you try to tell me if it's going to be играть в or играть на. Футбол. Играть в футбол. Yes. Баскетбол. Играть в баскетбол. Да. Флейта. Mm -hmm. Играть на флейте. Волейбол. Играть в волейбол. Барабан. Играть на барабане. Труба. Играть на трубе. Very good. You noticed that with the musical instruments we're gonna change the endings. So it becomes барабане, трубе, флейте, гитаре. The only word that does not change is the piano. Пианино. А теперь викторина. And now quiz. Викторина. First, let's review what we saw in this lesson. So we saw how to say what you do in your free time. To say in your free time, you're gonna say свободное время. For example, me. Я читаю в свободное время. Я изучаю языки. Я гуляю. И я путешествую. А ты? We saw different pronunciations of the letter я. When it's stressed, it's gonna be pronounced in a more clear way. So it's gonna be stronger. Я, like яблоко. And when it's not stressed, it becomes kind of и or even и. Язык в сентябре. We saw irregular plurals. There are some words that add a, like города, дома, поезда. Some words that add soft sign and ya. Друзья, братья, стулья. And uh, there are some words that completely change. Человек, люди, ребенок, дети. We saw the verb играть that is used with different prepositions. Играть в and играть на. We use играть в if uh, we speak about sports and we use играть на if we speak about musical instruments. All right, we are ready for the quiz. Викторина. Вопрос один. Кто гуляет? Марина или Лиза и Антон? Да, Лиза и Антон гуляют. А что делает Марина? Марина работает. Вопрос 2. Что люди обычно делают в свободное время? Работают или отдыхают? Да, отдыхают в свободное время. Вопрос 3. The letter я is always pronounced the same way. True or false? Правда или неправда? Right. Неправда. Вопрос 4. Which word is missing? Это, этот, это, or эти? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Дети играют на музыкальных инструментах. Да, эти. Эти дети играют на музыкальных инструментах. Вопрос 5. Москва, город. Москва, Рим, Париж и Лондон – это? Города. Вопрос 6. Это мои друзья. 
Вопрос 7. Это рюк. Рюкзаки. Вопрос 8. Они дак... доктора. Вопрос 9. В or на. Он играет на флейте. Вопрос 10. Мы играем. Да, мы играем в гольф. It's sports, so we're gonna use the. Very good. You have finished all the lesson number nine. Ты закончил урок 9. Поздравляю! Молодец! Увидимся на следующем уроке. I will see you at the next lesson. Пока-пока!